Hello everyone, today I wanted to make a video about um, bush flying and x-plane. So our plan, if we go into the cockpit here for a second, if we open the map, we're going to be flying from Mac Macmo Fisheries to um, Rivers Inlet. Um, it's 20 miles and we're going to do it a round trip flight. We are delivering cargo to there and yeah. So anyway, let's start it up. First thing we gotta do is turn on the master batteries. Then turn on the avionics. This is a very simple plane to start up. Uh, turn on the beacon and taxi. I'll turn on all of these lights. Turn on the fuel pump. Move this to both. Put in the mixture. And then if we start it. There we go. Turn off the parking brake and let's taxi over. Also, I think I should turn on PW heat, so let's start. Bring it up a bit. Let's go full throttle. We'll need to do some rudder here to stay on course. It's a single engine plane, after all. I'll try to get to six or 50 knots if I can. There we go. That was a nice takeoff. I have two hours of like fuel. I'm gonna decrease the first notch flaps. Actually, I I kind of lied about not using autopilot. I think I will. <laughs> Yeah, we're over halfway, I believe. Go to the first notch. Oh, I see. It. Runway is in sight. I think you should be able to see the runway now. It's pretty clear now. Full flaps. I don't want to hit any trees, so I'm gonna go a little high on this approach. We have a very long runway anyway. Cut the power. I'm gonna aim for there. I'm aiming for a specific spot on this runway. This is a gravel runway. This one I don't have any scenery for. Cause I don't think there is any scenery for it. A little st strong. It will easily stop though. Stop the brakes and let's just get over to the ramp and we'll offload our cargo. Okay, cut that. Uh, I don't know where the parking brake is. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the mixture, kill the engine, get this back. Lights off. Good fuel pump. And we'll just we'll keep the aircraft powered though. Hey, right, there we go. That was a great flight. And we we'll unload our cargo. Okay, cargo has been unloaded. We just have things I need in here. I'm gonna close the doors. I'm gonna power this plane back up. Um, but I will watch the landing we we had.
playing again. Um, so, we do this. We already have all our stuff on, but I'll turn on the lights we need. Beat those. I'll keep the PDOE off. Go in the mixture. Put this in. And that should just good to go. Okay, good to go. Let's go. This will be a much faster takeoff since we're a lot lighter. Yep, immediately pull them up. We can pull up hard, actually. left part of this mountain to get a good approach. On the way, I believe, is sight. Is sight? What's is sight? What does that even mean? This approach is quite interesting. There's, there's this hill kind of blocking it. Ooh. A little trim down a little too hard. Yeah, really hard. Oops. And I'm about to stall. The way is there. Need to go a bit further here. Also, like, what's the hype about P3D? The thing is, in like each game, I feel like has their Zebo. I guess you can say. Um, I don't know why I'm using that. FSX just has a lot of um good um free stuff but especially there's this one um i don't i forgot what they're called the but they have a free 757 which would be payware but it's completely free i don't know why i'm talking so much right before this landing i gotta push down a bit hard Go, go, go. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Hard landing, but we're good. There we go. What a nice uh, landing there. But yeah. Um, um, I see X.11 has Zebo. I mean, that's kind of obvious. But it actually has another one, in my opinion, and that's Sparky. Seven four, uh, seven. I feel like there's a lot less talk about it, but it has a custom FMCs, which basically is like the main thing that the seven four seven, in my opinion, needed. Um, and I know Microsoft Flight Center has um, fly by wire A three twenty. And here we are, back where we started. Just the parking brake. Lights off. Delete off. Kill the engine. Put that back. We'll put it into a cold and dark state. Which is very easy for Cessna. Just turn off the avionics. Forget that. And turn off the batteries. There we go. We're back. We're restarted. That was a nice flight. Very cool flight. Uh, let's watch the landing though. I'm gonna comment over this landing. Um, I do really like this because you can see this this approach. It's quite challenging because there's this big hill, pretty much right in front of the runway. 
plus the runway is obviously small and narrow, so you gotta just kind of, there is quite a lot of factors to doing this approach. Um, it's a really fun approach, though. See, looks like we did quite well. Ooh, oops, water update. That was a water update, by the way. That's why it just changed. Because I am using default X plane live water, which I know isn't the best, but it's it works fine for me. I just made the clouds look better. Because there is a volumetric clouds mod, but unfortunately, it's not that good. Well, it's not. It was good, but then they and then support because it, it's enhanced cloudscapes, which that landing was not the best, obviously, but it wasn't the worst. But enhanced cloudscapes, um, basically, is the predecessor to enhanced skyscapes, which is a payware. And enhanced cloudscapes is just not supported anymore, which kind of is sad because I'm I would would have liked volumetric clouds because it just breaks. If I try to use it. Uh, anyway, that was the landing. Anyway, I'm gonna continue talking about that discussion about the Zebo of flight simulators. I there's nothing I, I've seen for P3D. Like all of it looks like it's payware, and there's no default like airliners in P3D. I know that. Anyway, um. You can click off now, but I will talk about um, some things from the past. But hopefully I make more videos. Um, because I just didn't have a lot of motivation to make videos. Because a lot of the time they take a lot of work to make. Which obviously makes sense. I mean, yeah. I'm not trying to make crappy videos anymore. Like, from... 20 whatever 2017 2018 anyway um yeah that's pretty much it bye